If you implement this four-step blueprint that I'm about to show you, you're gonna get clients faster than you could have ever imagined. I've used this formula to make over $1 million in commissions in the last four years in my small marketplace. And what I'm sharing with you today is how I got listings like this $1.4 million home and how I'm about to sell this $970,000 home as well. Because this four-step blueprint is virtually gonna guarantee that you start getting clients fast, the last tip is by far the most important, so make sure you don't skip it. One of the easiest ways you could start getting clients is using your phone to film walkthrough videos. Why should you be doing this? Well, because 51% of home buyers in any market across America are now on YouTube, and YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. So buyers and sellers right now are looking for homes in which your videos you could get right in front of them for free on YouTube. Not only that, but 73% of homeowners say they prefer to work with an agent that uses video. That's how I was able to get my newest listing here in PGA West in La Quinta, California for $1.4 million. My clients saw me on YouTube and wanted me to do the same marketing they saw me do for another home for their home. And they found me by simply doing keyword searches on YouTube and Google by entering phrases like PGA West in La Quinta. Once they did those searches, all my videos on those topics popped up right here. They told me they started to check out my other listing walkthrough videos and they were already sold on using me before they even reached out to me. See, one of the best things about YouTube is that the interview process takes place while they watch your videos and you could close your future clients before you even get to their home for a listing appointment. You don't have to be scared walking in with clammy hands because they're calling you to work with you. Video builds respect and credibility, even if you're a new agent. The best part is not only am I helping them sell that house that you just saw in La Quinta, but I'm also helping them buy this house right here. So I'm gonna make over $50,000 with this one client in the next month or so, and this all started just from my YouTube listing walkthrough videos. And that's how I have so many clients right now buying and selling homes from my YouTube videos. See, you have to let Google and YouTube do the heavy lifting for you because once you make these videos, they're gonna put your videos in front of their ideal clients because they want people on YouTube and Google who are doing searches to instantly get the data that they're looking for or the videos in this case. So that's why we get rewarded when we make content. The next tip I'm gonna show you is how you could actually start doing this with no experience and very easily. But first, I need you to smash that subscribe button if you wanna sell more real estate through your YouTube channel. You need to make sure you're subscribed right down below so I could show you how. You don't need a $3,000 camera and a $2,000 camera lens to get started. Simply start with your iPhone. My new listing that I was talking to you about, literally you could see right here, was filmed on this iPhone, okay? You could see how crisp the video footage is, how light and bright it is. There literally is no excuse for you to get started right today. Nowadays, everyone has a phone that shoots 4K video resolution, resulting in high quality videos simply from just using your smartphone. Now, a lot of my videos weren't filmed with a gimbal, but this is something I recently incorporated. The company DJI makes a great gimbal for smartphones, and it's only about $100. What a gimbal does is stabilize your video footage to make it look smoother and just overall less shaky. This helps to make the video look a little more professional and polished. And honestly, it's really easy to use and you could figure it out in a few minutes and there's tons of videos on YouTube to learn how to use a gimbal, but honestly, you don't even need it if you don't want it. The next thing I honestly would really recommend is getting a smartphone microphone, okay? Having clear and crisp audio is honestly one of the most important things in a video. You don't have to do this step, but all these things will only help you. You could find cheaper microphones with great reviews on Amazon like these right here. I would recommend if you're willing to invest the DJI microphone set. This is one of the best microphone sets you could use. The audio quality is just really gonna be out of this world and it's gonna make your videos only better, okay? If you're using this for business, remember it's a write-off. I love my write-offs. My wife says I do too many business write-offs, but you know, we're making videos. We gotta make them good for people to reach out to us, right? Now, without this next tip, you're not gonna have any homes to film. You might be asking yourself, how do you get homes to film? Honestly, this is really simple. You could either ask realtors in your marketplace to 
film their homes or just go film homes that are vacant and on a lockbox. I'm personally in the camp where I'd rather ask for forgiveness than permission, but you need to do what's comfortable for you. And I'm not an attorney or anything. I'm just a random guy on YouTube giving advice. But the gist of all of this is you just need a few great relationships with agents in your brokerage or your marketplace, and you're gonna have plenty of homes to film. But if that doesn't work for you, I have another option. Before I tell you that option, let's talk about why would agents let you film their listing? And it's really simple. You're doing free marketing for them and only giving them more exposure. As a brand new agent, I was able to film this $20 million home in the Hollywood Hills by asking the founder of my brokerage, Mauricio Umansky, if I could simply film his listing. That was a huge ask and most people would have been afraid to do it. But when I asked him, he immediately said yes, like it was that simple. And if he would have said no, I would have just went to someone else and asked them until someone finally said yes. Now, the easy way for you to start doing this is going and filming model homes, okay? Model homes are great because they look nice on camera, they're perfect and clean, light and bright, and people who are working at model homes, they simply don't care if you go film the homes. Nowadays, all the agents are walking in on their smartphones, filming things for their clients, so all of this is actually really normal. People, they're not even gonna question you if you walk in and they ask you what you're doing and saying you're gonna go preview the home for a client because guess what? Thousands of future clients who are gonna be watching you on YouTube will view the home and reach out to you to buy it. So it's actually honestly the truth. Now this tip is by far the most important because I'm gonna show you an even easier method of doing these videos, okay? If you wanna simplify things even further and not have to rely on someone to you know, walk through the house with you and film you, you could actually do home tours on your own, okay? Basically, it's almost the same thing as a listing walkthrough video, but with a home tour video, okay, you're just walking through the home with your iPhone on a gimbal or without on the wide angle mode and just narrating everything you see, okay? These videos are great because they take eight to 10 minutes to do and people absolutely love them. You can see my audience retention on this video. It is, it's actually pretty high if you see it. And it's because once people start watching the video, they really stay glued to the end of the video because they wanna see the entire home. So it's easier for these videos to do great. This past summer, you could see, I did a lot of these videos and what I like about them is you could build a huge catalog of videos for your city or different areas in multiple cities because the more videos you have for a certain keyword like Palm Desert, California, the easier it is for people to start to find you and the more clients you start to get. Make sure you put your contact information on the screen in the video, okay? Email and phone number. If you don't do this, all of this will be a huge waste of time because people won't know to reach out to you to do business. People will think you're just some guy who likes to film homes and put them on YouTube, but you need to let people know that you're an agent that helps people buy and sell locally houses all day long. So you need to extend them the invite to help them find homes like that one or even homes in other areas or even help them sell their home. If you wanna know the step-by-step -step blueprint to selling 20 plus homes in a year from YouTube, then you need to watch this video right here.